did anyone ever get out of a 911 Turbo S and be playing it too slow? Or a GT3 and think it could do with being a bit sharper? Evidently so, Porsche answering those questions with this, the new GT2 RS. It's an intriguing mashup of each, with the promise of more of everything. The GT2's predecessors have quite a reputation, rightly or wrongly, its more recent RS iteration being dubbed the Widowmaker. That's in reference to its combination of massive power and the potentially tricky handling that came with it. The GT2 RS appeals to a certain type of customer, then, Porsche's GT boss Andreas Reuninger saying they're a little bit more overt, demanding the very best performance, so the GT2 RS is deliberately loud, both visually and orally. Reuninger also admits it's a repose to those commentators that complain the GT department has lost its focus on outright speed and instead has been building more purist oriented cars like the 911R and manual GT3. To counter those arguments, the GT department took the GT2 RS to that track for a time lap. The result was a 6 minute, 473 second lap, beating all production car comers and smashing even Porsche's own predicted times by some considerable margin. To allow that, the GT team has thrown everything at the GT2 RS and taken a bit out too. The engine is derived from the Turbo S 3.8 liter turbo flat 6, the chassis, aero, and weight saving more akin to the direction the GT3 takes. It's no simple mashup, though. The GT2 RS has very much its own identity, its mixed parentage creating a monstrous hybrid, very much in the Marvel superhero sense, not the Toyota Prius one. You can't help but have an opinion of it, the GT2 RS thuggish, cartoonish track refugee appearance not exactly shy. It's all functional, though, those many intakes, wings, and protuberances all doing one thing, creating speed. And lots of it. That massive wing, depending on angle, develops up to 992 pounds of downforce, though if you want to reach the quoted top speed of 211 miles per hour, you'll want it at its 750 pound setting.